I got to read. <laughs> Hello, fellow foodies, and welcome back to the channel. Oh. And welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be trying the Mighty Muck Rib, the burger that has disappeared for a whole nine years, nearly a decade, and we're trying the McRib today. I can't wait for the diarrhea tomorrow. So, I'm on the way to B&Q. I need to pick up um, some sort of knife to rip up some carpet, and on the way, I'm going to hit up a McDonald's and try the Muck Rib. Now, yes, I'm late to the party by at least a day. I saw all you food bloggers out there going to McDonald's and trying it yesterday I'm a little bit late to the party, but is this McRib really up to scratch? Is it up to the hype? Is it going to be as good as it is seemed to be? But I don't really know. I mean, I've not, I can't remember having a McRib apart from one occasion, which I'll tell you about later. Anyway, moving on, let's get to McDonald's, let's get a McRib, and yeah, let's see what the fuss is all about. Hope you guys are well. Let's go. Welcome back to the video, guys. This is what you're getting for £5.29 in McDonald's. Here is the McRib. Let's have a look. Digest. Oh, God. You know what? Smell-wise, I'm getting sort of like cat meat. You know, your, your, your beef and jelly, your, your turkey and gravy. I'm, I'm getting that sort of smell. £5.29. 503 calories I just hope it's you know tastes a lot better than it, it smells and to be fair presentation wise it's not exactly great is it let's just give it a bash welcome back we parked up and now it's the ultimate time to try the milk rib yes! before we do so I'll give you guys a little description as to what it's all about the milk rib so the Silvered. The muck rib starts with a seasoned boneless pork dipped in a tangy barbecue sauce topped with silvered onions. Slivered? Slivered. Slivered onions. The muck rib starts with a si uh, Jesus Christ! Why can't I read? The muck <laughs> Right. Start again. Right? I'm starting to get embarrassed. <sighs> The, M uh, the McRib starts with seasoned boneless pork dipped in a tangy barbecue sauce topped with slivered onions and tangy pickles all served in a toasted, toasted homestyle bun. Yes! When everything is combined, you have a barbecue pork sandwich perfection. Yeah. We get it. So, the McRib has come back after nine, almost a decade. And yeah, literally just, it's back on the menu for just a limited time. Here's the McRib. Uh, you've seen the shot earlier and it smells like cat food. So, I'm really intrigued to see what it tastes like. Now, I remember that nine, ten years ago, when I was 21, 20 years old, I did not even touch the McRib. The only time I touched the McRib was, in fact, when I was in Magaluf with the lads on holiday. And I asked, I think it was, um, yeah, Magaluf. And I asked behind the counter, I said, please, can I have four McRibs? To anybody else, that's four burgers. Four McRibs. And, yeah, they gave me four McRib meals, four chips, four drinks, four McRibs. I tried my best to eat it all. I can't remember if I did or not. Went out clubbing and basically... Um, ended up projectile vomiting um, all over myself and definitely my friends found it funny in the morning and definitely watching me be sick all over myself and then going back to sleep. So great, great memories with the McRib and yes, here we are trying the McRib itself. Um, I hope you guys have been okay. Uh, things have been crazy, you know. Um, Lisa's massive. We've just had a 20-week scan. We've got a healthy baby. Um, that stuff is perfection to me. By the way, I'm almost at 2,000 subs, so, you know, Christmas is coming. <gasps> if we can get to 2,000 subs at the end of this year, that would be epic. Let's just hurry up with the, you know, let's talk in and let's get to it. So, here we are. The McDonald's McRib. Like I said, I'm late to the party. However, we can still get the party started. Here we go. Let's go. I'm not really sure what it's kind of... It kind of tastes a bit like what it smells like, you know. 
it's like the texture it's not like sort of like fall off your bone and melt in your mouth it's almost like it's almost like when you sort of defrost it some food and then you like just don't you, you defrost it on the side and then you take a bite out of it you know it's just really um so you get that porky flavor and you get that barbecue sauce and the bun's really good actually I, I don't know why but i'm quite obsessed with this bun that bun is really soft really nice um but the pork is like i don't know there's something about it which is a bit underwhelming considering all the hype around it it's quite it's quite chewy um it's not dry, it's not as dry as I thought, but it's giving me that chewy vibe. Like it's like a leather boot. And all of this is like literally just sliding out the back end. I will say that barbecue sauce is really nice. It's almost like the, the pork is lacking a bit of flavor. Like it's quite bland, like salt, pepper, at least something like that in there. Like this is like a complete mess. It definitely tastes like when I had the um, years ago, um, when I went to Magaluf and ate this, this was like 2013. Um, it definitely, I'm definitely getting the vibe, it's literally the same taste as that. But even when it was in the UK, I, I never even picked the McRib and I can sort of see why, because it's just very bland, there's no like other flavours going on. I like the pork, I think that's the main point. It's just, it's like really bland. That barbecue sauce that is currently all over my face is the best barbecue sauce they've done. I mean, they have various types of barbecue sauces at Mackey's. I think with different burgers, that they change it slightly, but that's the best one. The onions and the pickles really help it, but for me, this is just one slab of blandness really and it's it's not dry it's just like almost like a rubbery texture i can't say i'm a massive fan so far well ladies and gents the mcgrib was a little underwhelming um i thought the barbecue sauce was nice i mean the onions and gherkin added a dimension but it's not a burger i'm going to be picking again considering the hype around it everybody I've only really watched one video to the end and that that guy really enjoyed it but for me it's not I, I'm happy with a, a double quarter pound and cheese man that, that really gets me going that um, but that burger itself was just a, a little poor and just really not up to scratch so it's up to you guys if, if you want to give it a try and see what you think but I genuinely just didn't really get along with that and, and didn't like it at all so it's just a bit bland for me. I'm, I feel like I've wasted like five quid when you could have got potentially a, a, a better burger on the menu, but a burger sort of elsewhere. So, like I said, information about the channel. We've got a couple videos to end the year. Um, I've got a video with um, best mate Tyler Bell. Uh, he'll be on uh, a video at some point. Um, we're gonna, hopefully going to do that in a couple weeks. So that'll be good fun and that'll be a really good uh, video. Um, yeah, thank you so much for everyone watching my videos and whatnot. We're almost at 2,000 subs, so don't forget to hit that subscription. And yeah, we've got a couple more videos um, to see out by the end of the year. I just wanted to hop on because I haven't been here since uh, I think September, so one a month. That's pretty cool for me. And yeah, hope you guys are doing well and absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for all the support. You've been absolutely outstanding. Even you know, even that I don't really upload too much anymore. It's it's something I really do enjoy doing still. And yeah, a couple more videos to around the corner. And yeah, keep your, your eyes peeled. But you know what, Rick Rib for me is an absolute no, um, bland and just an absolute waste of money. And that's 500 calories we've got to burn off now. Damn. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And yeah, just enjoy it. Enjoy. I don't know what you're going to enjoy. I don't know what you're going to enjoy. I didn't even know I said that. Hey, 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 hey. Anyway, that's way too far. Thanks for watching the video. And as always. <laughs>